What is up guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. And today we're gonna to be taking another look at Ride the Cyclone the Musical. And I gotta say, ever since reacting to the Ballad of Jane Doe, that song has just been haunting me. It is so good and so, so beautiful. And don't get me wrong, Noel's Lament was also just completely outrageous, but there's just something about that Ballad of Jane Doe that was, I, I, I like can't stop listening to it. But in my previous two reactions, the pretty much growing consensus in the comments was, oh, he's got to check out Space Age Bachelor Man. He's not ready for Space Age Bachelor Man. Well, you know what, guys? I feel like I am ready, so that is what we're going to take a look at today. And yeah, I, I have no idea what this is going to be about. Even having seen those two other numbers, they were so different. I, 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 I don't know. The only thing that I know is that I am pumped. So thank you all so much for watching and let's go ahead and check it out. Ricky Potts, born June 5th, Gemini, the dual nature. Favorite ride, the Gravitron. Awesome born with ride. a rare degenerative disease, when Richard lost his power of speech, the Potts family took a vow of silence usually communicating in a series of strange gestures that only they understood. Interesting. The only time they interacted with one another was when they drew pictures or fed the cats. They had 14 cats. Jesus. From the time he was six years old and his knees began I mean, to... I I love cats, Ricky but was that's treated to the most many. appalling cruelty humanity can muster. Complete indifference. Far from growing bitter, Ricky developed an elaborate playground in his synapses, where he became his own best friend. Ricky Potts, the most imaginative boy in town. Since we're all sharing, I would like to talk about my religion. Lo, I am a prophet from the Solarian Star Cluster, supreme leader of those that evolved from cats. No. I'm just a swing it. Space <laughs> what? Bachelor man. Oh my god. <laughs> With the lasers. <laughs> this is so 80s. I guess you could say I'm pretty sexy on another planet. Oh. <laughs> Who are you right now? I told you, monkey love drop. <laughs> I'm just a swing it. Bachelor man. It's gonna be like right out of Xana, dude. This is too much. <laughs> you might see before you an ordinary man, an earthly illusion, all a part of the cosmic plan. Yes, long ago they visited those others from outer space. Inform me, I'm the chosen one to save the Solarian race. It's true. Listen. Ricky, we are a distant galaxy. Oh my a god. Galaxy in need. The Devo hats. Your kinko magic powers. Yes, we need your fantastic seed. <laughs> Thanks for the need. What? Sexy cat women from Zola. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Make love to me, Ricky. Where's your safe hot galaxy? Ricky. What would you do in my place? A mere mortal man. I hate to say it, I think you guys are right. I don't think I was ready for this. Millions of lives in your head. I mean, it's always fun to big projector up on the uh, up on the curb. 
Oh no. Oh god, a costume change. It gets weird now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now it gets weird. The generals are all standing by. Oh, my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? I mean, why are they asking me? I'm a lover, not a fighter. I thought I told them I'm just a swinger. Spacey. I told them I am just a man, a space age man. That's all I am, but I want to hold your hand, all your hands, as we make love tonight. I have no desire to rule the galaxy. Hold on, ah. hold you close, that's enough for me. God, it's choreo, it's too much. In zero gravity. Let's get real space babies. I'm gonna give you the cliff notes for every prophet that ever lived. Life is hard enough without making up reasons to be dicks to each other. So friends, let's take True. care of each other. All colors, creeds, and sexual needs. Live and let live. Love and let love. For love is the closest you can come to another person because it's the closest you can come to being another person. Nice. <laughs> Incredible. And then peace was restored. I guess that's what happens when you're a swinging space age bachelor man. So I went back to the earth to show you the way to lead your pretty people to a brighter day. Awesome. Oh my god. I mean, I still love the Ballad of Jane Doe, but this might now be my new favorite song from this uh from this show. This was so good. And fucking David Bowie wishes he could be this dude. I'm not gonna lie, I was really worried when they started talking about the 14 cats that this was gonna like descend into some sort of Andrew Lloyd Webber cats thing. And even like cats parodies at this point, I I just don't like that show. And I was very worried and for no reason, for no reason whatsoever. This was just like, a perfect amalgamation of all things 80s, 80s music, 80s styles. Oh my God, this was so much fun. Uh, but I have to ask though, the, the, the songwriter or songwriters for Ride the Cyclone, have they done anything else? Or is this like the first, you know, big thing that they've done? You know, everybody starts somewhere because like they are incredibly skilled. All three of these songs that I've seen so far have been so good for such different reasons. And I do want to point out right now, uh, I, I probably will be reacting to this entire show on my Patreon uh, at some point here coming up. So please, if we can, let's refrain from posting spoilers down in the comments. Uh, for me right now, uh, after seeing these three, uh, Ricky's song, Jane Doe's song, and uh, Noel's song, I feel like Jane Doe, for me, would be the one that I would bring back to life. Like that was just so, so damn sad, but 
please, no spoilers, guys, if at all possible. Uh, but can anybody out there tell me where this specifically was filmed? Like, this performance that I've been reacting to? Because, I mean, the quality all around is really stunning. I, the, 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 the crazy harness setup that Jane Doe had, the performances from the actors, like... This was really, really good. And I'm pretty sure it's a fairly new musical. So, like, is there a chance for a Broadway transfer? Not that a show has to be on Broadway for it to be good. It would just, you know, kind of open it up to, like, a huge amount of people and could really take off. Because unless the rest of the songs are absolute garbage, I would imagine that this show is really really good based on these last three numbers that i've seen so yeah if anybody can answer any of those questions for me i would very very much appreciate it uh otherwise thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it as much as me and i will see you all in another reaction very soon